Hi, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering what this catastrophe that's in front of you, this is my son's room. After I have warned him several times not to eat in here, I clearly see that he has not been obeying my rules. But I've been doing some updating in his room lately with all the time that I that I have on my hands. I just recently painted this wall that you see located behind his bunk bed. So I am going to clean his room and then I'm going to share some of the decor updates with you guys he does have a basketball theme room so if you're interested in seeing this clean with me as well as a decorate with me in my son's room then keep watching I don't know about you lifestyle lovers, but I cannot clean a bedroom unless I make the bed first. It's just something about cleaning up around an unmade bed. So let me know when you're when you're cleaning up your bedroom, what do you start with first? Do you start with the floors first? Do you start with the dressers? I have to make the bed first. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean off his bed and get it made and then I can start cleaning up the mess that is around me. Okay, now that the bed is in order, I can focus on cleaning the floors. Look up under that bed and um, whatever's up under that bed, pull it from up under there. Any trash, any clothes, anything that's up under that bed. Any clothes up under there? Nothing? Okay, come put these shoes in your closet. I want them in there neatly. Get this yellow, these yellow shoes over here. Go put them in your closet. Or a permanent room. Okay, you need to get up under there. 
those shoes and stuff it shouldn't be any shoes up under there get up under there and get these shoes come up under there and put them in your closet neatly and i want you to go get that good for wood and get a uh a microfiber cloth out of the linen closet clear this off get everything off you need to wipe this back down it got back dusty again and that's from you eating it you over and over to stop eating in here. Okay, now that most of the hard part of the cleaning is done and over, I am just going to go in with some disinfecting wipes. These are the Sam's brand that I am using and I am going to wipe everything down. Okay, lifestyle lovers, now that the cleaning is complete, we can move on to the fun stuff. I am just going to hang a few pieces of wall art that I had purchased months prior, and I just never got around to doing it. So I've already pre-hung the hardware, and I'm just going to hang the wall art, and then I will tell you guys a little bit about some of the things that I have in the space and some upcoming changes that I want to do to my son's room. almost forgot lifestyle lovers I am just going to spray my son's linen as well as his rug down with this antibacteria fabric spray it's made by Tide it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and it sanitizes and freshens fabrics I don't know if I've shared this with you guys before but this sanitizing spray is bomb it smells really really good and of course it helps that it kills bacteria. So I'm just gonna spray all of his fabrics down with this. 
Okay, lifestyle lovers, I just want to remind you what the room looked like prior. And this is what it looks like now. So as you can see, this is my son's room. It is a basketball theme room because that's his favorite sport. He loves basketball. So if you're wondering why the doorknob is missing, one day my son decided that he was going to lock the door and not open it. And so I simply removed the doorknob. So that pretty much solved that problem. So that is the reason why the doorknob is missing. But moving on to the decor, I have a waste basket with the blue and orange colors that came from Walmart. And then over here, which I do plan to replace this with a floating shelf, I believe from Ikea. But this came from Target. I bought it a couple of years ago. And yeah, so that, that is temporary. Um... His TV is also temporary. He had a very large, I believe a 50 inch screen TV. And one day he was pretty much not paying attention, only attention to his game. And he let the TV tip over and it broke. So his dad went and brought him this particular TV, but we will replace it eventually. And up here we have a basketball a decal with his name for the Orlando Magics. This came from Fathead at Fathead.com. It actually had a rim around it, but the rim fell down and instead of my son telling me, he just bought it up and threw it away. This is a picture that my son drew and I guess it's taped to the wall. I hope it's taped and not glued, but it doesn't really go with the theme, but this is his room and he wanted to hang this picture up. I don't know what it is, but yeah. And I DIY'd this a few weeks ago. It has the basketball knobs to go with the theme and I used some chalk paint. So if you're interested in that video, I will link it below. And on the dresser, we just have some of his trophies. I do want to get a frame for this. This uh, is a basketball picture that he took a few years ago. And then I have these basketball plaques, plaques that says basketball that came from Hobby Lobby. And then over here uh, with all of the basketball teams, National Basketball Association, this also came from Hobby Lobby with a plaque on each side of the mirror. You can't see it with the lighting. And this bed, guys, is from Rooms to Go. It's kind of really big for this room. But when I found out that I was moving, I just went and ordered this bed. I didn't do any measurements. I knew that my son had to have this bed. So it has a desk on the side. Uh, the chair was sold separately. And then it has a basketball hoop. It has a hamper over here. And the cover is from Pottery Barn Team. And then I have a basketball here, like a pillow with his name on it. And I ordered that from Amazon. And then we have a futon at the top which also came from Amazon and then I have two pillows I'm not sure where they came from but they're old and then we have the Spalding light fixture which I believe came from lava lamps and then 
I have a basketball goal that I painted on the wall and I'll kind of insert how I did that if you're interested it came out less than perfect my plan was to do a video on it but since it came out less than perfect I just decided not to but it'll work for now and then over here we have some of his books I need a book in for those and just some extra school supplies right here this is his man bag and we have the closet right here a mirror for him to check himself out and then he has a gaming chair which also has speakers on the side so if he wanted to plug his PlayStation mic he can plug it in right there and kind of hear it hear the sound of the games through the through the speakers on the side it has NBA logo and this game chair came from pottery barn teens as well and then i have a basketball rug that was given to me by one of my girlfriends when she knew that i was doing his room in the basketball theme so i am going to be replacing that rug as well and i think that's pretty much it lifestyle lovers so yeah that's pretty much it so what i did far as the basketball goal is concerned i used uh pure black bare paint in order to do the goal and i just used some edgers and the red dotted lines are stucco tape so i used stucco tape to achieve the red dotted lines and then i used edgers to paint the basketball goal on the wall and it goes kind of all the way down and then on the side over here and then my son loves hats and scullies so this is where he keeps all of his hats and skull caps and that is pretty much it lifestyle lovers what I do want to add is of course I want to get a frame for that I want to get him some bookends for his books on his bookcase. I want to add a night light that I seen at Pottery Barn Team. So I will insert a picture of that so you can see that. And a new rug. New floating media chest and a bigger TV. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Be safe.